as a grown we often get told to find a model and copy it. Either find a, a mentor, some someone who's been successful in your space and copy them. Maybe it is modeling a funnel or modeling a marketing plan. Maybe it's even a template of how you should work with your clients. Now, why is this so beneficial? And how can we make the most of models so that way business is easier? Hey there, I'm SD Rappaport and I help ADHD entrepreneurs optimize their brain so running their business is a whole lot easier. And we are going to tackle this model thing. It's something that I absolutely love and I think it's just not broken down enough. A lot of it is like find a model, but not so much of like, okay, now how are we going to actually use this? model. So let's first start with why is a model so beneficial? Well, simple. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can learn from what's working. Okay. That much, I think for the most part, we know, right? Like we like models. We love templates. Why do we love templates? Because we don't have to start from scratch. We're taking what's been working. We're taking what's been successful and it puts us faster on the path to success. Okay. When I find a model that is working. I follow these three steps. And these are the three steps that I teach all my clients. They come out knowing these really well because we do this very, very often, every single session. And each one of these steps require you to use different one of those thinking skills. If you've been here um, a while, you know that thinking is not one big thing. Thinking is made up of 28 thinking skills called cognitive functions. And for each one of these three steps of really using models to make business easier, you need to use multiple thinking skills. So as I go through these th three steps, I'll share with you the thinking skills that you need to really make most of them. Ready? Let's start. Step number one is you need to look for the model. Simple as that. Find that model. Um, a mo that model could be anyone or anything that you can learn from. Person, paper, document, system, anything that you can look at and learn from it, okay? And this mostly uses the thinking skill of clear perception, taking in the information in a clear and organized way, right? Because if you just look at the model and get overwhelmed by the model, it's not helping very much. You need to look at the model and be able to take in the information in a clear and organized way. However, that brings us to step number two, right? So sometimes like we think we look at the model, okay, I can understand this. I can look at this template, but we we'll actually need to go a little deeper. We need to step number two. We need to analyze the model. This is breaking it down and really, really figuring out what is making this work. Sometimes tiny changes as much as like words as small as you yet who things like literally three letter words can make a whole big difference to your marketing campaign. And so if you are trying to copy someone else's model, someone else's let's say ad or something like that, and you're using that as a model, but you just like, oh, I get the idea. And you just like quickly do it without actually analyzing it. You may miss out on these little details that get the results. So it's super important to analyze the model as much as possible, obviously without getting overwhelmed, but like really analyze it and pull out as much information as you can, right? So if you're modeling a mentor, you're modeling, you're analyzing how he's behaving, you're analyzing his body language, you're analyzing how he treats his clients, you're analyzing his marketing campaigns, all those sorts of things, okay? And that uses the thinking skills of searching for relevant cues because we need those relevant cues when we analyze and hypothetical thinking. We actually need quite a few other ones also for analyzing, um, but those are the two main ones, okay? Which brings us to step number three, Com copy and compare back to the model. So as after you analyze the model, now you want to put your model into use and you are going to copy it. So if it's an ad, you are going to copy the ad. If you it's a mentor, you're going to copy the mentor. Whatever you are trying to copy, you're going to put it. Now, as you copy it, you are going to forget some of the information or you want to check to see if you did it right or you want to see how you can make sure you copy it even better things like that so you're constantly going back that's why I like to put them together copy and compare back copy and compare back though sometimes I do split them because it really is two separate steps of copying and comparing back but they go so much hand in hand and we use them the most like back and forth back and forth all the time that now I'm just putting them together but if I speak to you in a few months and I decide to split them 
I'm warning you now. <laughs> I just like to put it together here um, right now. Now, this uses the thinking skill of comparison and visual transportation. So you really need to compare, right, for the copy part and the compare back to the part. And then visual transportation is being able to, like, transfer something in your brain and put it in, get in another place. So that's really, like, the copying of transferring it from one place and being able to put it down, like, visualizing it in your brain to be able to transfer it. Now, here's um, the interesting thing about um, copying and comparing and using models. Sometimes we want to copy something exactly, right? If you hire a coach to help you write your LinkedIn bio and she tells you step by step, this is what you want to do. You want to copy that exactly. Sometimes it doesn't have an exact thing. It's a, an idea. Maybe she's like, okay, here are some ideas of what you can put in your link to bio. Or here are some suggestions that I put in your link to bio. So you're comparing back to the model, but you're putting in your own creativity. If you are copying an ad from someone, please do not copy it word for word, picture for picture, color for color. No, that is completely just stealing or taking someone's funnel and literally just like copying it without them having any idea of what you're doing. You cannot do that, but you can learn from those funnels. You can learn from those ads. And you could analyze and copy them in a way that is relevant to you and your situation. So it's important to note before you start using the model, am I using this model as a reference point as like to give me an idea or am I using this model for exact information? So let's say when in your entrepreneur, we're wired our 90 day program where um, I work with um, ADHD entrepreneurs to help them optimize their brain. We do these sheets. They're super cool sheets where there's like shapes and you have to find these shapes within the dots and there it has to be exact. So if there's this weird star shape, you have to make sure you are finding it exactly to the model. That is an, an example of where you are copying the model exactly or copying the model precisely, right? If you are making clothing, you need to copy the model precisely. Um, but more often than not, we are using the model just to give us an idea and to help us move forward. Now, one last thing. Sometimes we don't have a model. So we need to create the model for ourselves. Now, creating a model requires you to use many, many more of the thinking skills. And so that is why it is a lot more challenging for most people. And that is why we just like templates, because instead of us having to create the template, have someone else just being able to give it to us makes it a whole lot easier because those thinking skills, like we almost don't even... It's just there. Like we need to use the thinking skills. As soon as there are more thinking skills involved, there's more opportunities for it to be a challenge because more of those thinking skills can be weak. So I want you to comment right below which one, uh, how you are going to use models, where you are already using models, and which one of the three steps you think you need to get better at. Looking for the model, analyzing the model, or comparing and copying the model. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.